Okay, now we're starting to talk about conditional adverb clauses in real conditionals. A conditional adverb clause shows what must happen first, the condition, so another thing, the result, can happen. So if I'm not too tired, if I'm not too tired, then I usually go out in the evening. A conditional clause usually begins with the subordinator if. It can also come before or after the main clause. If you mix red, green, and blue light, you get white light. You can change the order of this. If you have the conditional clause or the subordinate clause first, you have a comma. Here is, I can come over if you need some help. There's no comma if the conditional clause goes second. So you could also change the order and say, if you need some help, comma, I can come over. We often use the conditional adverb clauses to talk about real situations or events. These could be facts or general, uh, general truths. So if eggs aren't properly cooked, they can make you sick. This could also be events that happen regularly. If we want to go downtown, we usually take the bus. This could also be a command or advice. If you don't know the meaning of a word, look it up in your dictionary. This could also be events that happened regularly in the past. When I was a child, if my father wasn't working, we usually did something outdoors. Our teachers were very strict. If you didn't do all your homework, you failed the course. Actually, that's true in my course also. In these clauses, it is possible to use when or whenever in place of if. So the present and real past conditionals are sometimes called the zero conditional. We'll be talking about zero type one, type two, type three conditional. Okay, going to the next section. We sometimes call a conditional adverb clause I'm sorry, we sometimes use a conditional adverb clause when we make a prediction or talk about future events. And this is the kind of sentence that we call the type one conditional. In these sentences, we usually use a present verb form in the if clause. If he's had a bad day, he probably won't come over. And this hypothesis will need to be tested to determine if it's accurate. If I can get home early, I will call you. We might cancel the meeting if they can't come. If you need some help tomorrow, call me. Notice that when you've got the if clause first, you have the comma. When it comes second, there's no comma. The if clause can include the present verb form can or must. The result or main clause can include a modal plus the base form of a, or an imperative verb. Notice that we use a present form in the if clause even when it has a future time expression. If I take two classes next summer, I'll graduate early. It's not if I will take. This is the rule we talked about earlier, that the dependent clause will have present tense, even though it's talking about future time. Okay, this uh, use of the future real conditional is sometimes called the future possible conditional or first conditional or uh, on my chart type one conditional. 